it as we don't have the equivalent of like a blood test for a movement impairment. And so that means that a lot of times we're not sure if, if the treatments we give are going to work. Oh, yeah. So one analogy is if I go, if I, I'm coughing and I have a fever and I go to the doctor, right, we have to know whether I have a bacterial infection or a virus. Mm-hmm. If it's a bacterial infection, we know what to do. We give antibiotics. Mm-hmm. And if it's a virus, we say go home and rest and <laughs> we'll see you in a few days. <laughs> right, right. So we don't have the equivalent of that for movement disorders. So that would be like we just give everybody antibiotics. Half of them may improve and half of ah. them may not. So it's a waste of resources. It's also giving, telling people to do something that may be detrimental to them. Right. Because right. we don't want to give antibiotics to people if they don't need them. There are a lot of side effects and... And resistance builds up. Resistance build up, but you can also, yeah, have negative responses. So that's really what we're aimed at doing is not uh, not having this so-called one-size-fits-all mm-hmm. approach. And to do that, we really have to get down to some basic physiological principles that may not yet have been fully understood. 